Hi guys, my name is Mohammed, and today I'm going to solve uh, one of the questions which came in the last year, uh, 2024, okay? And uh, as per the last year, uh, students, you know, the paper was very hard. I saw the paper in the last weekend, and uh, literally the paper based on uh, algebra, 30 to 25 percent, you know, the paper is uh, at least for the base on uh algebra like you must about the, the algebraic expression how to make the expression and how to work about your equation how to work on your simultaneous equation how to find the two variables you know how to work about the two letters you know uh, both sides you know i mean these are the concept behind to solve cssc paper now so i'm expecting the same style of the paper this year as well okay so if you need any help and support you know for 11 plus preparation so please don't hesitate to contact with me and my number is there as well okay so back to the topic okay the so question number 15 uh question number 15 cssc 2024 okay the question uh basically that co function machine but they use uh, the concepts of you know equation okay so how how does it work okay so the question number 15 it says uh two flow charts two flow charts are okay number one is it says input okay and arrow then there is a box times by three and arrow and there is a box is times by oh sorry plus six and then output yeah so this is the function machine okay so they give you the flow chart okay so this is number one and this is the number two flow chart and it says same input and then arrow then you have a box times by four arrow and then there's a box is size minus five yeah and then output okay and also uh they give you the example as well okay so example say that what okay so for example okay so if i'm using the number one flow chart okay so if i'm using the number one flow charts and the example they are giving the number i'm using eight yeah so instead of okay input will be eight okay so if i'm going to put here eight okay and times by three and then what you're going to do it and then you plus six so what's your answer very simple so eight times three is 24 and 24 plus 6 equal to 30 okay so if your input is 8 okay so your output will be 30 okay this is already given in a question okay so this is the example they said okay how to do this question okay now back to the part a okay so the examiner asks about the part a and the part a says the flow chart if the output is 45 what is the input so what the uh, output output equal to 45 okay so find find input find input for number one okay so you need to put the value in the flow chart number one and work out the input okay how we work out as you saw my last video about for 2023 questions okay if the output is given okay so it means backward calculation the backward calculations or reverse calculations means the operation going to be inverse okay for example okay so the so output is 45 so what we're going to do it okay so very simple so what we're going to do it okay so for example i will make the same flow chart number one times by three and then arrow 
and plus 6 and it says the output will be what 45 yeah so what is the input so whenever the backward calculation the operation going to be going to be inverse okay so it means this is plus 6 okay so what we're going to do it okay so 45 so plus inverse is negative so 45 take away 6 which is equal to what 39 yeah so it means you will get the 39 here and 39 the operation here is times okay when you do the backward calculation the times inverse is divide okay so it means 39 divided by 3 yeah and the answer will be what 3 times 1 is 3 and 3 times 13 is 39 so the input will be 13 yeah and you can verify your answer very simple you can put here 13 times 3 is 39 and 39 plus 6 is 45 so it means 13 is your answer so this is the part a okay as per the flowchart number one so very simple okay so the output is given you need to find the input backward call calculation always you know keep in mind what okay so if there is a positive sign when you calculate you know as a backwards so it's going to be changed to negative and if there is times going to be changed to divide sign okay so now back to the question number 15 part b okay so i'm going to you can pause the video and try to solve okay so so now is part b and the part b is says what So the part B says uh, for the flow chart to if the output is double the input, what is the input? Okay, so using the flow chart, okay, so using the flow chart, uh, using the flow chart number two, okay, so what if if the output If the output is double, okay. If the output is double, the input. What is what is the input? So this is the question, okay. So it means what they say. In the second flow chart, say input any number you can put times by four, and then you subtract and you will get the output. Okay. So now examiner saying what? Using the flow chart number two. So I'm using this flow chart. Okay. And it says if the output is double, the input, what is the input? Okay. So they haven't given any number. So as i told you about what any number is not given so you jump directly to the value okay if a number unknown okay so we can use any number for x or y or z yeah okay so number i can assume okay so number i can assume uh is the x number okay so they said okay the if if the output is double what is the input so i assume the input is input equal to x so we need to go the flow chart number two yeah so instead of input i put here x okay so the x then arrow times by four and then it says arrow and box minus five and here what they say they say whatever the input the output will be double if i put input x okay the double of x is what 2x very simple now look at this one x time 4 is what 4x yeah 
and 4x and minus 5 and output it means the output will be what 2x so how we work out so this is 4x and this is minus 5 okay so i'm going to move this one so 4x this 2x is positive if i move this side it's going to be subtract yeah so it's going to be minus 2x this is minus 5 move for this side okay it's going to be plus 5 so very simple so 4x take away 2x is 2x equal to 5 yeah so both sides we divide by 2 okay because we need to find the value of x here yeah? so 2 cancel with this 2 and the answer will be what 5 over 2 and the answer has to be the mixed number okay so what 2 times 2 is 4 and the remainder is 1 so 8 means 8 means what the x value will be what 2 whole number 1 over 2 okay so if you put input 2 and a half okay so your output will be very simple 5 so this is the part we very simple very easy okay you need to use the concepts of you know the equation how to make an equation so you need to uh the the number is unknown it says okay it should be double okay the output so what is the input so i simply put the x so 4x minus 5 equal to 2x and we solve uh the, based on a concepts of equation and find the value of x the x will be two and a half okay so now back to the part c and the part c is yeah so the part c i'm going to erase this example as well now okay so i need more space here so uh, part C say what is the value of input which give the same output for both okay so you question number C what is the value of the input which gives give the same output same output for both flowchart yeah so this is the first flowchart and this is the second flowchart okay very simple what you're going to do it okay what is the value of the input which give the same output so it means the output of the flowchart one will be the same of the output of flowchart second yeah so the first step okay so number as i said okay the unknown number we can use x okay so the first one is what so x three then arrow then plus six okay so same as output yeah okay so this one okay so for the first one and i can simplify x time 3 is what 3x and 3x plus 6 okay so the first equation we can make is what 3x plus 6 and they say both are same okay so this one is same for example if I, I say this output is same for the other output so output equal to second one is same x arrow there is a box plus four and then box minus five and then output here yeah? So it says the output for the flowchart 1 and flowchart 2 
they are equal each other okay so same as the equation for this one x times 4 is 4x and minus 5 and same output yeah so if i say the same output okay so i can write here what 3x plus 6 equal to 4x minus 5 yeah so both sides are equal so we can work out what the value of x and i as i said to you the lower x value moving to the higher side so it means 4x this is positive is going to be changed 3x yeah and look at this one this is plus 6 sign going to be changed to minus 5 to plus 5 yeah so the answer will be what x equal to 11 yeah so the x will be 11 yeah so the output will be what 11 so you can prove your answer as well okay how okay it says you can put the input okay and the output will be same so look at this one so the x is what 11 if i put here 11 so look at this one 11 times 3 is what 33 and 33 plus 6 is what 39 yeah if i put 11 in the equation number one okay so the flow chart number one you will get 39 okay and same as if i put here 11 so 11 times 4 is what 44 yeah and 44 take away 5 equal to what 39 so you will get the same output okay if you put the number 11 so same as go back to question it says read again what is the value of the input which give the same output for the both flow charts yeah so we work out okay so very simple very easy okay so you can assume a number is unknown as a x and make the equation first so 3x plus 6 and these value equal to the second flow chart same as i assume the second flow chart is x so x plus 4 is 4x 4x minus 5 and then 4 3x plus 6 equal to 4x minus 5 on on the basis of equation we can solve uh, 4x take away 3x so you will get the x and 6 plus 5 equal to 11 so if you put the 11 for the both the equations you will get the same output which is 39 you verify okay so this is the questions okay so as i told you about you know you need to really work hard about your uh, equation side especially so that's it for today so i hope you like this video please share with your family and share and subscribe my channel so i'll see you in the next video thank you very much bye bye